In exactly 24 hours, I will have remade Counter-Strike Global Offensive with a working buy menu, guns, a recreated map, and an enemy AI, all in the Unity engine. And go. Alright, so first I created a new Unity project and got started recreating CSGO's most popular map, Dust2. I have some experience using Unity, but for the 3D part of the engine, I am definitely more on the beginner slash intermediate side. I imported Unity's Pro Builder tools as well as the standard assets they provide from the asset store and got to work. I modeled simple shapes from the Pro Builder tools and later would go back and put nice textures on them to make them look better. I know CSGO sweaties out there might try to point out how there's no double doors into long or boost up to cat, but the map can't be an exact recreation and what I made is good enough with me. After an hour or two of trying to recreate the map, I got tired of map making and wanted to start on the gameplay. I made a simple gun prototype that I would later change and got started with the code to shoot. At first I tried to make a simple bullet drop script but I began to have a lot of problems with that. I looked it up and it turns out CSGO does not have any bullet drop in the game, so lucky for me I could easily just implement ray casting to shoot. After I did that, I wanted to add the spray pattern that CSGO has to their guns. To implement this, every time the player shoots the gun, I wanted to make the first person camera move up slightly to mimic kickback. But after I had a lot of trouble with this, I decided to call it a night and try again the next morning. Alright, so the next morning I woke up and got to work implementing the kickback. It turns out the reason my kickback wasn't working last night was because the mouse look script from the standard assets FPS controller prevents the upward rotation from happening. But if I create a parent game object of the first person camera and apply rotations to that, like magic it now works. It's not exactly CSGO spray pattern, but it has the right idea. I decided the spray pattern was good enough for now and needed to move on. I then got started implementing a buy menu for the different types of guns. I made a simple UI for the buy menu with only the P2000, AK-47, and XM as available guns to buy, just as a simple system to get buying multiple different guns working. I wanted to go back later and add more though, and after a bunch of trial and error, my code worked. I then looked at the asset store for some free textures and models to make my game look better. After importing some free textures and gun models, my game looked... okay. Okay, that's better. I also applied some post-processing effects to hide from the hideousness of my game. I only had about three hours left at this point, and I still had a good chunk of the map left to do, so I tried to finish that. Alright, I was pretty happy with the map and it felt complete to me. Now I needed to start on the enemy AI. I coded the enemy AI so that if the player is a distance of less than 10 but greater than 5, the enemy approaches the player. Then if the player is a distance of 5 or less from the enemy, the enemy shoots at the player. Then I added in the player's health and UI to keep track of. I added the player's current money to the buy screen, which decreases by the cost of each weapon the player buys. I also added a sound effect when the player shoots to give some feedback to the guns. And that is where I ran out of time. There's still a lot I wanted to do, but it turns out it takes much longer than 24 hours to recreate CSGO. But considering I only had 24 hours, I'd say I'm pretty happy with how far I got, and I sorta accomplished everything I wanted to going into it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, and consider subscribing because at the moment there are only 8 of you guys subbed.